Joining us now is public affairs analyst Deko Olayokun uh, to talk a bit more on the new phase of the lockdown. Thank you for joining us. Yes, I'm sorry, it's a pleasure. Good evening. Good evening. Now, even yeah, though good. we know that there has been flouting of the guidelines by some Nigerians, what is your thoughts about the lifting of the ban on interstate travel? Yes, maybe on a lighter, maybe on a lighter mode. By the official lifting of the ban on inter travel, interstate travel, it's just a way of spoiling business for some security agents that have either to, during the lockdown, they are smiling to the banks in court. Yes, it's a very complex development, but we have to receive it with what we call cautious optimism. In the sense that, if we go by our experience, after the two months lockdown of Lagos, FCT and Okun State. What we witnessed immediately, the lockdown was lifted, was starting to write home about. Nigerians threw caution to the wind. All the protocol that was supposed to be observed, none was observed. And it raised issues. And that is the fear people are expecting now. Yes, there are some protocols. Every motor park must have a wash hand basin. There should be sanitizer. Then before, after that, there should be social distancing. I want some look of physical distancing inside the vehicles. The fear now, going by our experience in Lagos, where they say by, from the owners of vehicles, should reduce their passenger by 40%. But what do we see? What are we seeing in Lagos today? Vehicles are packed full, like what Fela calls, what is it in national standing? So I, I think uh, government should not relent. And not only the government, people that know should not relent in coming into the ears of these operators that they should maintain all the protocols. All right, let, let's take on, uh, oh, sorry to interrupt you, but let's take on the partial reopening of school as well. Um, we've seen teachers and staff kicking against the plan. Uh, do you share their skepticism that uh, while government is thinking about uh, the future of the children, they might not be able to provide all the necessary protocols as well as the school owners, whether public or private? Uh, do you share that skepticism? Yes, yeah, yeah, there's a lacuna in the statement released by the government, in especially all the protocols. Unfortunately, we are not seeing specific rules for every, uh, those people involved. Don't forget we have public schools and private schools. In the public schools, the government, who are going to ensure that all these protocols are observed, like sanitizers, like a wash hand basin, like an instrument to test the body temperature, and then the issue of social distancing in classrooms. That one might not be a problem anyway, in view of the fact that only a limited number of students are resuming. But of the basic needs, like the sanitizer, like the wash hand, high hand washing basin, like the, the temperature, body temperature testing equipment, who is going to provide it? Now let's go to the public private schools. Don't forget that in the past three months, many of these private schools have not made money. Where are they, where are they going to get the finances to provide some of these things? So that is the lacuna that we have witnessed. It is very, very interesting because Hitler to Nigerians have been shouting, government should open schools. Now government has begun a gradual opening of schools. We have reason to complain. And there's always I a, a miss. It's always a miss. Yeah, yeah. You said? 
I said it's always a missed grill when it comes to issues like this. Some will either be for or against it. But thank you very much uh, for your time with us on the news. Uh, I'm afraid that's the much we can take. Okay, it's always a pleasure.